But you see the road leading to your house, Masa. Plunge. We go all out. We spend. In fact, people go into debt because of party. They don't really mind being all natural. Here, you reunion parties. We we we. we we will hear reunion parties exactly reunion so that is something i have never ever in my years of um living in nigeria ever seen hello friends this is gyms of the gyms tv thank you for stopping by and you're welcome <music> so in today's video we're going to be talking about something i haven't yet titled I have a title in my head, but I don't want people to misinterpret it or misconstrue it and just think their own thing. But in the meantime, let me film the video, then we'll discuss the title later on. So thank you for stopping by. And please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and also, you know, show support in any way you can on the channel, okay? That would be very, very much appreciated. So as at the time of filming this video, my country is on the map, okay? My country is on the lips of everyone. But, you know, everybody's talking about my country at the moment. And that's because a young Nigerian lady chose to break the Guinness World Record for the longest cooking time by an individual, okay? So the previous, well, the current holder is an Indian who did 87 hours and I think 45 minutes. Now she, our Nigerian girl, Hilda Bassi, has cooked for 100 hours that's about four days or thereabout and she has done a great job so yeah we're on the map at the moment so probably niger so in case you are still wondering yes i'm nigerian and i live here in ghana so you people should just take a chill pill with this video you know it's going to be sort of interactive so i want you to tell me your answers in the comment section and do not be biased okay don't be biased let's just have fun with this okay so it's supposed to be like uh tell me which is which it's not a comparison video per se i'm just yeah i know my intro is long but i need to establish that fact first it's not a comparison video but i'll just be throwing more light on some of them you know and just have fun generally okay it's just banter nothing serious and for us to learn take a thing or two if you do not know okay so this is between nigeria and ghana i don't think i mentioned that but yeah it's between nigeria and ghana so enjoy and let's get right into it so i've gotten this a number of times on my channel people say oh nigerians like meat they like to eat a lot of meat and Truthfully, I beg to differ, okay? Yes, it's not because I'm Nigerian, but I mean, I've experienced both cultures. That's the Nigerian culture and the Ghanaian culture. I beg to differ. I actually think Ghanaians like more meat. In fact, we eat more meat than we do. Let me explain. Now, with example, okay? <laughs> so, um, I think the reason people think that we like meat is, for instance, if we're cooking a soup like a four-year I showed you an example of that in a vlog. I'll put it up here so you can watch it. Like, I, I just, you know, improvised and made something like a four-year here in Ghana, right? So, I think because we add, for instance, if we're cooking a soup like a four-year we add meat. Let's just say beef. Yeah, we add beef. We ha add wheelie. We add stockfish. We add maybe snails, small, small snails. We add shrimps, that shrimp powder. We add, um, what else can we add? We might add shaki, that's towel, right? What they call towel, cow tripe. I think that's what they call it here. By the time we add all these things, I know it's already a lot, yes, but by the time we add all that, I mean, it's just garnishing now, isn't it? So by the time we add all that, it will seem like there's so much going on in the in the in the food but i like it when you are eating food and there's obstruction everywhere like you can barely see the food that like you just take one scoop and then there's meat here there's fish here there's just obstacles all over the place it's really nice but Ghana, on the other hand i don't know maybe it's because of the Ghanaians i've had dealings with over the years but i'm not the only nigerian at least i know three or four people who have the same thoughts okay so let me give you an example i hope i didn't get it no i didn't call names anyway so i know a particular ghanaian family right who traveled to nigeria and stayed with a nigerian family so as it is as you would serve your guests now so they said 
I didn't call them so. <laughs> so they will serve. They well, they serve the food with lots of meat. You know, you know, you just serve it in a big, you know, dish and you know, serve yourself then. With the thought of oh, there will still be leftover meat that you put in your house or that you give to other people or something. But this particular Kenyan family finished the whole meat in the in the in the serving dish or whatever. Finished the whole meat. So the host was like, hey, she didn't know Ghanaians used to eat meat like this. So, and that's just one person, right? Um, I know someone who, when she came to Ghana for the first time, not well, not the first time, but in recent times, she was served for food. And there was so much going on in the light soup that she was like, ah, Ghanaians like meat, oh, they eat so much meat. And I actually agree. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. That is me. I actually think... Ghanaians eat more meat than Nigerians. Let me know. True or false? Let me know. Like I said, it's not really a comparison. We're just talking. It's just plain banter. But I actually think Ghanaians eat more meat. But then, the truth is, Ghanaian meat, well, let's put it this way. Ghanaian foods can do without meat. Right? Some of, for instance, if you just want to eat some banco and pepe, you don't necessarily need meat. You can just put one sardine or something. So you don't necessarily eat meat. Nigeria, on the other hand, well, I don't know which food we can eat without meat. I don't know. And by meat, mean I just mean protein, not necessarily meat. It could be egg. Okay, so now you see, if I go on that route of oh, protein, then Ghanaians like more protein than Nigeria because no matter how minimal the food is, egg must always be there okay yeah i think so but anyway that's it about this let's not dwell on this too much but i, I actually think yeah Ghanaians don't joke with their protein to be honest but yeah so between these two countries who loves parties the most well i would want to think is nigeria now because we celebrate every and anything we celebrate graduation we celebrate uh, naming ceremony, funeral, weddings, anything, anything. And this celebration I'm talking about is not even a joke. It is not a joke. Because to I'm told that of recent, you know, people have started taking uni from what we call Ashwari before baby dedication. I'm like, isn't that too extreme? But yeah, and we spend a lot, we splurge, we go all out. We spend, in fact, people go into debt because of party. I still cannot understand that, but yeah, that's not where we're here today. <laughs> but I think we spend a lot, we go all out for parties. Ghanaians, on the other hand, um, I think for funerals, funerals is the one that I know they go all out for everything, funerals, and I think weddings, so some weddings, you know, they go all out, spend a lot of money, but Ghanaians are not that extreme when it comes to parties. Their parties are always nice, cool, low-key. I remember Stella Chanel's wedding that I went for, and I'm like, and it was a buffet. It was, well, not necessarily serve yourself, that kind of buffet, but the buffet that they will serve you, but it's still buffet anyway. And I'm like, can this happen in Nigeria? I don't think so. It's best that they bring the food to you because, well, I think that if the wedding is very, very up there, I think that's the one they will do buffet. And if it's not so many people, because we always, you know, Parties are usually large and a big deal over there in Nigeria. So I don't think, you know, buffet would be nice for maybe like a thousand guests. Nah, so it's just best to bring the food. Just be bringing, what do you want? There's a menu, tell the service what you want and they bring it to you. So I think that's better for, you know, the kind of crowds that we cater for in Nigeria. But yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I want this to be interactive. Please, no insults, no, you know, um bad words no swear words please i do not tolerate swear words please no swear words in my comment section who is more religious this is a very tricky question i will be focusing more on um my faith which is christianity i won't say my religion yeah well in your form they'll say which religion do you belong to i know but i want to say it more as faith because that's what it is we're not supposed to be religious people are supposed to be people of faith not just carrying the tie to christianity on our head and then our lives are not depicting what our like are not depicting what we preach now nah, that's why we're here today 
But for the purpose of this um, conversation, I'm going to be saying religious, okay? Don't take it the wrong way. But <laughs> between Nigeria and Ghana, I want to say Ghanaians are more religious. I remember telling my friend that Ghanaians go to church more than Nigeria. She was like, you say it's not true. I said, I'm telling you, they like church more than Nigerians. I used to think Nigerians were very extreme when it comes to religion and things, but when I got here, I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> Why I said so is that, you know, when you go to a market, for instance, classic example, um, times when I go to Tema Station, not once, not twice, not thrice. At the beginning of Tema Station, if you're coming from the station itself, not from the back, not from, what's the name of the place, but when you're coming from AMA side, when you enter, Makola, uh -huh, when you enter, you can see one person preaching in front. Then when you get to like the end where those women sell, like in, in the middle of the, the in the aisle, um, where the women sell foodstuffs and things before you enter the place where they sell clothes and stuff, you see another person preaching. So sometimes in my head, I'm like, isn't the word one and the same? Isn't the scriptures one and the same? Isn't the word of God one and the same? So if one person is preaching, I'm pretty sure that it is the same if it is the same message which is christ which is the death and burial and the resurrection of christ if it is centered around this then um i do not know why two people should be preaching the same thing in the same market i mean because we are one so i can always go to another place since it's the same gospel we are not any money from it it is just what the lord has instructed us to do so when i think about it i'm like hey why and there with um pa system or public address system with the microphone so and if you're not even if you're quiet you can hear them simultaneously like this one is talking this one is talking at the same time so i don't know that's something i have never ever in my years of um living in nigeria ever seen no even when you're preaching in the bus it's one person it's one person even if there's another preacher the other preacher probably waits for you to finish so it's usually one person and um here i see it as i don't know i don't know what to call it but you can see like three preachers within the same vicinity i'm like okay well it is one and the same god right yeah it's one and the same god so it should be one and the same god so i don't know why it's like a competition oh let me say my own you know the, in fact there are some places that have not heard christ before so there, there's a lot of work to do so it's not just or staying in one place and all of that so yeah i beg to say that Ghanaians are more religious don't come for me i've explained what i mean by that <laughs> it's not left to you to now interpret it but this is what i'm saying and yeah another one is who loves school more i want to think that both countries love school in nigeria we pride a lot well i used to think that we take pride in our secondary schools a lot. I think we do actually, but university too plays a great deal. We take pride in university and secondary school. For instance, I went to the Premier University of Nigeria. Yeah, Google it, Google it. <laughs> and yes, I also went to a very reputable secondary school. And we have, you hear your reunion parties, we, 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 we will hear reunion parties, exactly, reunion, reunion parties, alumni parties, and all of that. And even for university too, you see get together 10 years anniversary, 20 years anniversary, and all of that. We take pride in both secondary school and university. And the way Nigerian secondary school is um, designed, the JHS and the SHS, junior high school and senior high school, are usually in one. You will, except in public schools where you see JHS here and SHS there. Maybe the same, I don't know, but usually they are in one. They are two in one. Here, it's not the case. I think there's only a few private schools that they have them in one. Because I saw one um, poster, one advertisement like that in Kumasi where the JHS and the SHS were in one. So I want to think that some schools are like that. Yes, some private schools, Montessori's and things are in one. But for public schools, which Ghanaians take pride in, I mean, if you go to a public school, 
a reputable public school, there's pride in it, like the Abri Girls, St. John's in uh, Zitakrad, yes. St. John's, Visek in Accra here. Abri Girls is in Abri. Then we have Accra Girls, which is in Accra. We have Achimota Girls, which is in Accra. Achimota is in Accra, yeah. <laughs> we have Wesley Girls. We have different, different. You see me, even me, I know them, and I didn't go to any of these schools because there's no how you will not hear it about them and all of that. So they have GHS and they have SHS, but mostly they pride in their SHS. Hardly will you really find anybody saying, oh, I went to so, so, so GHS. Uh, that's not the point. SHS is the point. And I also noticed that they don't really, maybe it's just me or people I've, I've come in contact with, not a lot of people talk about their universities. They go to school, fine, no problem. I mean, it's not everyone who goes to school. Same in Nigeria, goes to university. But they pride a lot in their SHS, okay? So you see someone, an SHS holder, he's so happy about his certificate, he talks about it, I went to so, so, so SHS and all of that. But I don't really get a lot of recognition from the universities. I don't really, I, a few people say it, well, I went to Ashesi, I went to um, Legon, I went to um, Central University, I went to so this and that. Cape, Cape Coast University, University of Cape Coast, Cape Coast, yeah, one of them. <laughs> UCC, University of Cape Coast, yes. I went to this, I went to that. You hear it here and there, but it's not really something you, they dwell on like we in Nigeria. We dwell on our university a lot. Both private and federal owned universities, we pride in them a lot. Here, usually is the secondary school. So I want both, both, I think both countries like school and both countries are really, really smart. We have very smart people there, okay, yeah. So something I noticed about, someone had to even make mention of it before I um, actually sat down and thought about it. Um, personally, I'm, I don't know from my videos you should have known, and if you know me personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not very keen on, you know, wigs and I, I wear, I have, I own a few, I, I wear them. But I, I'd rather rock my natural hair. I'd rather go with my natural hair, style it anyhow I want, like I have now. Anything I want, I'd rather, you know, style my natural hair, basically. It's not that I don't wear wigs. Oh, I do. I actually do. I wear makeup once in a while. Yeah, I, I do all these things, so let's not even go there. I do them. But I realized here in Ghana, quite a number of people rock their natural look more than we in Nigeria, okay? Me, the person who I even heard this from was saying, oh, they in Nigeria, you can, it's as if you can't even go out without making up or wearing it. I was doing it. I mean, I was going out with my natural look. Either I wear makeup or not, I fix my hair or not, I can do anything. And because I really don't care like that, I, it doesn't matter where I am, I'll still function, right? Um, but here, the person was like, you have the comfort of, you know, rocking your natural hair, rock, rocking your natural look like you want to and all of that without anybody, without any unnecessary pressure. Let's, yeah, let's, let's keep it like that. Without unnecessary pressure, you can do whatever you want to do with your looks as a woman. And which I think is true, right? Because Ghanaians actually, Nigerians have very good hair. I know that. But... I think Ghanaians, their hair texture, the ones I've seen, are always so lovely and so beautiful. So I see quite a number of people wanting to rock their hair with their natural hair, twisting it and all of that. So I think I give it to Ghanaians. Ghanaians no, don't really, they don't really mind being all natural. That's not a shade to my people, no, because we still have people like me, a lot of them there, okay? And it's not even about religion mm -mm, or whatever, your church. Mm -mm. It's just the way some people are. We, we, we don't really pay too much attention to things like that. We do them, but I mean, it's not a priority. <laughs> you get it here. Yeah, we have to do them, okay, sometimes, but I mean, it's not compulsory. We won't put ourselves under pressure for it. So I, I think that, let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I think, you know, in that regard, I give it to Ghanaians, you would feel you will fit in if you are the type that doesn't even make up at all. You don't do anything on your face. You don't even wear lipstick. You don't do anything. You don't wear jewelry. You fit in quite nicely here. I think I think you would. I think you should. You should actually. You fit in quite nicely here. Not that you can't fit in Nigeria. Don't get me wrong. Please get the point, okay? But I'm just trying to say here, the emphasis on those things are not a lot. 
this one is is very interesting because something I've noticed in Ghana is that um, I'm not saying we are we are better in my country, but something I've noticed is that here in Ghana, the main roads, like the 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 road, the main yeah the main I don't know how else to <laughs> I don't know how else to explain main road, but the house the road sharp that takes you up and down. Yes, yeah, the road, the main road are usually very nice a few potholes here and there but they are usually clean but you see the road leading to your house massa <laughs> by the time you repair shock absorber <laughs> your car will just be doing boogum boogum even when you enter bike ride right, you have to hold the bike man i don't know why it's like that please let me know in the comment section it's not usually like that in town like for places like east lake or Gano, all those kind of places when you see outskirts, like I'm talking, you know, I'm talking maybe a dental or UB, that side. Even if in front, like Tema community, those big, big communities like Community 2021, those sites, the roads are very nice. But you see the road connecting to streets, right? They are usually nothing to write home about. And I wonder, it's just like you know the outside the outside is beautiful but your inside cry is not good it's not nice at all so i just needed to mention that because it's something i noticed over time but i'm not saying nigeria is, is better per se but i don't know you already know that the road is bad from the beginning i don't i really don't know but but it's just something that's very common here i don't know why maybe it's just me who, correct me if i'm wrong because even in kumasi maybe it's new sites that are like that because even kumasi where i stay in kumasi family house in kumasi it's like that as well i don't know but this is what i'm seeing that's what i'm seeing okay then another thing is hey Ghanaians are very very patriotic i think everybody says this a lot they don't joke with their kinte and things they are very even about um their culture about their country if they hear anything ghana like this their ears are like okay what are you saying about what what are you saying about us let me know what you're saying about us you know things like that so i i feel like nigerians are quite patriotic we just check out the kildabasi kukaton that has been going on for four days now is the rave of the moment if you check if you open the internet now that's what you're going to be seeing look at how nigerians trooped in and rooted for her i mean they were rooting even people non-nigerians were rooting for her and i really i mean it's a win for africa well specifically nigeria okay <laughs> just kidding but um yeah these two countries are very very unique you know someone said something that <laughs> this is not it's not something we're proud of but someone said something about nigeria i said we will fight amongst ourselves so but you see when the fight is against us as a nation we are going to come for <laughs> we will stand as one and come for you i think that's something i noticed we can fight within each other oh this one is fighting this one from this mm -mm. but when it comes to a national thing we are going to come as one and fight you <laughs> who is coming for us and all of that and but then on the other hand um i i, I don't really know much about you know the unity and the I, I don't know much but from what i've seen uh, there's unity among even though some of you in my comment section you'll be saying oh this one is from this tribe oh no you don't even know your tribe mm, all those talks well but from what i see i see that Ghanaians love their culture they don't joke with anything when they hear ghana like this they're like okay what does this one have to say you know that kind of thing so um yeah that, that's just, i know this was just banter i don't know if it was all over the place but i, I tried to put my thoughts in one yes my i think my thoughts were aligned i think so <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it's not a you know it's not a it's not something you should take too seriously but at the same time you can take a thing or two from there and let me know in, your, in the comments let me know um what your thoughts are yes i listed something so let me know if i said the truth or if you disagree and all of that so thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share again thank you for supporting my channel for watching my ads god bless you thank you for um your comments i always appreciate your comments you don't you don't know i learned a lot of things from the comments so 
and I'm really grateful. Thank you. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.